This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I'm here with Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshunke. How are you good, doing? Man. I'm glad for you. I'm all right. Mm. Mm. Out of your life. Yes, okay. man. All right. <laughs> the first no story of our conversation is on Jay-Z. Um, he set the bar high after sending Mick Mill and Swiss Beat an invite to Sean Carter Foundation Gala with $4,000 Rolex watch. Hmm. As revealed by Mick Mill and Swiss Beat on their Instagram story, Jay-Z sent the guest um, Rolex watches as VIP passes. The first annual Sean Carter Foundation Gala will be held on November 15th and 16th in Florida. Proceeds from the event will go to the foundation and the work they do providing scholarships, college, uh, college prep uh, workshops, study opportunities and more. Alicia Keys has been announced as one of the artists built to perform at the charity event and Rihanna is expected to be in attendance. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. I think it's, um, Jay-Z just knows how to set the record. Set the standard, not mm. even the record. It's a standard right now because when you're a billionaire, I think um, you need to start thinking differently. Mm. And then when you're married to a successful woman like that, so you get... People will just give you VIP passes, laminated, you know. Do you even go to some of our events in Nigeria? They tell you your golden ticket, and then it's just some um, paper that they use gold glitters. You know, we just use the name golden ticket. <laughs> yeah. How much did you buy the ticket? I was going to ask. I mean, huh? the ticket how much is not the ticket? Like one million. You have tables of one million. And, and then do you know how much you. this is? This is about 14.5 million. What? So even to create the a gold card mm -hmm. for an actor, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like now you're getting, we're you're buying, she does like that. yeah, we're buying a <laughs> ticket for one million naira. You don't expect I'm the just, range. No, I'm not trying to um, diss anyone. I'm just saying that when you're a billionaire, you know how to set the standards. You know how to do things the right way. Like he doesn't send the Rolex watch to watches. He also sends it with his um, brand, the Ace of Spades um, champagne, and all of that. So I think that's just very amazing. Big ups to Jiga. Mm. I mean, I find it very interesting, you know, that you're going, oh, you have to just go there, you just show the wrist watch and go in. And in my mind, I'm wondering, like, if how many guests is he inviting? Mm, and how many people? For VIPs. Just strictly VIPs. Mm -hmm. I and mean, how many VIPs are coming? I have no idea. Yeah. Imagine, I'm just wondering, will they drop the wrist watch or is their own for life? No, I it, think it's their own. From what's McMill? You know when you... You know he's gifted McMill... Um, the Rock very, Nation Yeah, team. when he launched his album last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... And no, just, when they had the collaborative um, record label deal together because um, the Dream Chasers is also the Rock Nation imprint, so... Yeah. And, and for me, I feel like it's a smart move to get more money for the, um, what's it called? Foundation. The, the foundation. Because if somebody's giving you a Rolex and is inviting you for that kind of program, you, you can it's only dig a minimum, minimum <laughs> amount minimum you can amount donate. You can if you're do. coming for that event, that means you have to be donating something that is worth more than what um, the Rolex has given to you. And I mean, I think that's a very smart move. Jesus is a businessman, a real one. I mean, he knows what to do at the right time to get what he wants. Thank God I did not get the Rolex watch because I would have had to sell Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> But it's okay. Moving on to the next story, Drake um, to launch weed business. He's set to launch a marijuana company called More Life Growth Company, which is named after his 2017 mixtape, More Life. The company will focus on providing cannabis products and herbs, medicinal herb extracts, um, herbal, herbal tea, rolling papers, dried plants, as well as other merch and apparel. So, yeah, I mean, that's where the money is now. Mm. You can see those that want to remain rich moving their trade to marijuana and weed, like most people like to call it. So um, it's good. Congratulations mm. to him. And he's registered the company also. I think that was where um, TMZ got the document mm. to understand what is going on. And he posted something on the 5th of November also. On his Instagram. Yeah, like it's subnimi now. But. And he has been giving out um, flowers to people, mm -hmm. um, media houses, people he has been sending out flowers just to create awareness that is new businesses coming up soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's very interesting. Um, it's, a, it's an interesting way to create awareness. And I like that, you know, before we have this thing of um, 
drug sellers, legal drug sellers, being top, becoming top rappers. But now I think it's top rappers now going into the drug business, the legal drug business. And that's interesting. Congratulations to Drake. And it's not just going into um, the marijuana business now. It's going to have other things, it's selling accessories, mm -hmm. um, dresses, and all of that. That's a good one. It's, I think it's moving to the business. I see what Jay-Z is doing and how much he's making. I mean, Drake could probably be sending Ferrari out for his next event. We never can tell. I, I love that optimism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so first off, I would like to start by saying free show array. Because um, when Shore was contesting for the president of Nigeria, he spoke about commercializing um, marijuana in Nigeria because um, marijuana is one of the um, very viable businesses that a lot of people haven't exploited, especially in this part of the world. But if you look out there, you see a lot of people with marijuana companies. You see a lot of celebrities going into marijuana business. And um, basically, they're not doing it for your just to get high purpose do you understand they're doing it they're, they're using it for recreational purposes um medicinal, medicinal purposes mm -hmm. health purposes people with cancer people with depression people that need it anxiety and stuff like that so um if our celebrities out there want to go into this they need to have it at the back of their mind that look these people are not just doing it because they just want to start selling weed to people legally mm -hmm. they're doing it because um it is what is important for people because you can't take that away from the society because and it's also acceptable but yeah i was going to say our celebrities uh, can't go into that business <laughs> yeah, here because legally, yes. it's not legal here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no uh, okay yeah okay i get that point it's not legal here but i think um that's why i started with free show mm. yeah. and i think was it um a just um Ogun state or on those state governor on those state mm -hmm. governor at some point traveled out to i mean get uh, more knowledge on how they can use marijuana for medical purposes yeah, and they all. have a lot of it mm. in those states so that's hopefully something will come out of that very soon hopefully all right, it's time for a quick break, but when we return, there will be more entertainment stories to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Right oh, yeah. Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to dollar, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you? Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi like Woo! <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Nollywood actor and politician Yuli Doche says he does not believe in praying for his enemies. He wrote, and I quote, I don't believe in praying for my enemies and wishing them well. You can't be planning evil for me, and I'll be busy praying for you. I wish you what you wish me, simple. And every day I'll be firing Psalm 35 and Psalm 109 on your head, end of quote. Who oh, agrees? I agree. Oh. <laughs> really? They say love your enemies. I mean, even the Bible says that we pray for those who pray for you and I will curse those who curse you. That's so, Old Testament, so we are now in the New Testament. I mean, pick whatever part of this, still the Bible. Mm -hmm. Pick whatever works for you. I, I, but it's just being realistic. I feel like it's just, it will, I'll be full of um, hypocrisy if I say that I don't agree with him. Because I can't be here doing my thing and you're wishing me bad and I'm on my knees praying that God, please make this person great, make this person great. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't see how it can work. Mm -hmm. I, like he said, I wish you what you wish me. Mm -hmm. uh, because I don't even wish my enemies dead. I want them to live long to see the Lord's doing in my life. So I just wish you, every, if you wish me downfall, I wish you the same. Whatever you wish me is just what I wish you. I totally agree with Simo. I can't be praying, pray that. What, what? It's just, <sighs> I'm pretty, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a flip coin here mm. because um, there are different narratives to this. We have somebody like Martin Luther who says if they slap 
chopped, all right? Uh, yeah, if they slap you, you should turn. It's and Jesus. Jesus. Jesus said that, but Martin Luther always made reference to that. <laughs> yeah, so he said Jesus said. Jesus said. No, Martin Luther did not say. It's Jesus that well, said I'm it. I'm getting somewhere. Okay. Yeah, right. because in comparison to Malcolm X, Malcolm X is more of a violent person, and they are both activists, human rights activists. So it's a flip coin here. Yeah. Now, Martin Luther will be of the opinion like, oh, pray for your enemies. Don't look at what they're doing but someone like malcolm x would be like hey the enemy should do this if i kill them do you understand so i think it's a flip coin yeah it's how you decide to look at it someone like me i don't mind praying for my enemies because the more i pray for you you're saying you're praying for them to live long you're still praying for them indirectly no? I'm not, i didn't say i'm praying for them to so live that they can long. See the i'm just saying that now. So, if they want to live long it's okay for them to live long i don't pray that anybody would die that's just, i'm not praying oh, for goodness. them it's not yeah, even so in my that's prayer what I'm saying. point it's a flip coin so i think this is um depending on your personality some people will see it as what's the point if you're my enemy be my enemy by all means i think um Enemies are even what makes you work harder, make you do better at whatever you're doing. So, me, I love to have enemies. I'm one person that enemies keep me going. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So, I'll definitely <laughs> keep going. I don't, I don't like enemies. I'll, I'll, I don't want to I'll, have I'll, enemies. I'll, <laughs> Okay, so I'll definitely me. keep okay. praying for more enemies because, oh, wow. yeah, uh, I want more uh, enemies. Yeah, I don't okay. want I want, enemies. I want, matter of fact, I want more if enemies I than friends. friends with I, want, enemies. I, want, I want a few enemies. friends, mm. real friends, and a whole lot of enemies. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I'm, I'm telling you. But for me, I feel like how many of us even know who the real enemies are that's mm. the first question like when they talk about oh sitting down and praying for your enemies and all that i'm not even finished praying for myself how do i even remember that you exist i don't think about any like if you decide to be my enemy right it's not like you're going to send me an email no. except you're crazy people you're not going to send me an email to say elsie I I'm am your enemy. enemy right? And even if you do that, I trust myself. I'm just going to look at you like someone that has some serious mental health issues and ignore you, leave you where you're supposed to be. So it's not something I would sit down. And I think the amount of energy you expend on thinking and on the fact that you probably have That's someone enemy. that's trying to build you down is a waste of time. Because right. you could use that to build yourself, read a book, think about the next um, phase of your life. So. Well, that, I, for me, I don't, I don't, I don't think having think enemies even keep me going. It mm. does not, because, like you said, I don't even think about it that somebody somewhere is trying it's to bring enemy. me down. So, if we we're friends and we're not cool anymore, I don't even remember that you exist. So, is that we're simple. not enemies? What I would just say, friends. don't sit down somewhere and think that oh, mm. this person is my enemy. I, I wish this person this. I wish you that. You are also putting yourself in a position of um, feeling a level of hate and anger within mm. you that will not let you move forward. And so then just you're already be becoming. You, an enemy to, to yourself mm. not even to them and you're living the life you think they are living against you so i feel like if you just let yourself be free i just so enjoy sometimes life. enemies are very 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 important who do you life. describe you, as an enemy if you if you ask um very successful people they'll tell you that they have a lot of um, enemies successful mm. people don't call them enemies mm. they call them their rivals mm. yeah. okay yeah, that's, I think yeah, the that definition of enemies so is different mean. now. Because yeah, so maybe, we, like you said, maybe we need a 30 minute show for us to define what uh, well, enemies, enemies is. And I think it's going to be relative for people. Yeah, so it's going to be relative. So um, I'm not in support of um, what Yul is doing because I would never pray bad for anybody. So if you are praying bad for me, it does, I don't necessarily have to pray for you, mm. but I will not I don't start have to pray for you, but I don't need to do well. anything, really. Not exactly. Well, so I rather just I don't want to so I mean, for me I, I will wish you what you wish me i mean mm -hmm. if you that's if i have to wish you anything yeah that, that's the thing i don't have to go on my nails and when i'm praying my enemies are not even my prayer point do you get no, but I, if if you're wishing me something anywhere you are i mean i'm not i don't know but in my mind if somebody wish is wishing me, enemy, wish me i just wish you what you wish me yeah amazing okay moving on to the next story tony abraham says we are all beggars on earth Okay, so um, posing inside her new Mercedes Benz, the new mother who is now fondly called Mommy Ray by her fans captured her post saying, we are all beggars on earth. It's either we are begging for money, happiness, wealth, etc. Let's be humble, end of quotes. Yeah. Spot on. Mm. I think that was spot on because um, at the end of the day, we're all seeking something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a Yoruba saying that says, that is no matter how rich you are, you're still looking for more money, so you're still begging for more but money. Do we you're beg still... for happiness. What? 
Do you, you beg for happiness, and from who exactly do we beg happiness? Mm. Do we beg for happiness? And yes, from, who? from God. You pray mm. to God every day that make mm. sure that I'm happy today. Make sure I have a successful day. Make sure I have this. That's when I'm speaking to God, I'm not begging. I'm asking. As a Christian, he tells you, ask and you shall receive. So no, I don't beg God. I ask. I speak to him. Uh, I, mean, I think I, this I, is I metaphorically yeah. speaking. That's it's what I was not saying. Like, it's not direct. And I, don't think she like, was, I don't think she was involving God in this at all. Yeah, I think she, she, was, she wasn't about, even she involving God. God I think all. basically what she's just trying to say is be humble. Because you don't know what you will need. You cannot have it all. Nobody Will ever have, have, have all. everything I all. That, yeah. I mean, um, Dangote or Ted Dollar, Bill Gates, name it. There are That's some people that, yeah, something. there are some people that they are looking up to to get something from them. No Basically, what she's land. saying is be humble because if, if you're proud today and then you think you have it all, tomorrow you will you need, need something someone. from some, it might not even be somebody there. It might be somebody that is just really low to you and at the end of the day, you need to come and beg that person mm. for that thing. I think that's just what she's they trying to say. They only favors one mm. way or another, yeah. so. I agree with everything. I think it was spot on what she said. And um, kudos to her. I think I hope she comes out with more nuggets like this. Okay. <laughs> it's time for a quick break. But when we come back, we have one more story to discuss with Red Bank. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Right <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal eye. You. Mm. Apala music is for mature-minded people. That got DM sometimes from Malawi. Like, <laughs> welcome back. Next story for conversation is a bit controversial. As Ti said, he goes to the gynecologist with his daughter every year check her high men. A statement which has since earned him serious backlash on social media. His controversial comments were in response to a question about whether he had um, the sex talk with his daughter. He said, and I quote, not only have we had a conversation, we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check her high men. Um, he also went further to explain the process and the conversation between him and the doctors. So this practice of virginity testing was condemned by the World Health Organization, UN, um, Human Rights and UN um, Women in 2000 2008 when the organizations issued a statement demanding the elimination of the practice who stated the practice has no scientific or clinical basis and it's a violation of human rights adding that it can be detrimental to the women or girls well-being so um, a lot of people have said what they think and where they stand with the law with human feelings and all that I don't know if I, what do you think no, I like to get your takes as ladies first because um, you guys are like the ones concerned. It's a woman we're talking about, so I like to get your takes before I talk. Okay, yeah, well, okay. Go ahead. first for me, I have two problems uh -huh. with that because <clears throat> first, I have a problem with um, him telling. I mean, even if you're doing it, uh -huh. telling the old word is just for me is all shade of wrong. First, wait, first. No, I get what you're saying, but Tia yeah. is just so open. He talks about everything. Just don't ask him. And then, okay, <laughs> what do you ask him? This is, this, is not about, this is not about him. It's mm -hmm. about his daughter. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's still, she's just 18, and she has, like, a lot of things that she's still going to get involved with. Right now, she might still be feeling like, oh, that is trying to protect me. I get that. I mean, it deserves an... Um, Honorable award for trying to protect his daughter. That's a good thing. Mm -hmm. But how you do it is what really matters. I mean, this. What if he affects her in any way or all of that? And then the sorry, other. Sorry to cut you. I don't even think she's fine with it because you know how bloggers can snoop. Mm. He said she's liking every um, um, comment on condemning it. condemning the act. So. That means she's she, not, she has not tweeted anything, but she's liking them. You, you know, and now it's, it's another thing because it's somebody that has, um, I mean, this is just set, it's just trying to show that our society really has this issue of double standard when it comes to male and female. He has a 15-year-old son that is sexually active, sleeping with other teenagers. 
but you are here trying to protect your daughter and you don't have a problem with your 15 year old son being sexually active mm. but you have a problem with your 18 year old daughter being sexually active i think that's where i my own problem is right now how you want to parent your child is your business but then you putting it out there like not um you don't have a problem with your son doing whatever he wants but you have a problem with your daughter doing what she wants it's her body she has a right to do anything she wants to do with her body i mean she's above 18. Mm. that's that's my that's she my own main thing actually but yeah, she's 18. Uh, that, that's my own main problem with this issue, like the double standard thing. If you, don't ha if you want to have a problem with your kids having sex, that's okay. But you can't tell me you don't have a problem with your son having sex, but you have serious problem with your daughter. I mean, your son is sleeping with other people's daughter that are teenagers. Okay, you're fair. No, your take. Okay, so for me, I think that... Um, as much as everybody has an opinion on this, I feel like it's a personal decision for them first. And then mm. secondly, I also do not think that this is the best way to parent, especially in this day and age, because mm. there are different perverse ways of intimacy without even touching the hymen. Right. So it's possible that she's very active in other ways, and you do, all you need is for the hymen to be intact, right? She can do a whole lot, and the hymen will still be intact. What if the hymen and even gets um, broken? But it's not sexually. Oh, yeah. Oh, he also mentioned that the doctors mentioned that it could get broken from um, by the by by riding. By riding. And he says, no, she, she rides no <laughs> horse. She does no sports. And then they will usually go ahead and tell him everything is fine. So the last time they checked, everything was fine. But um, I just feel like this does not build trust between mm. you and your daughter. As much as you want to protect her, this is not the way to do it because... <laughs> Man, there are so many things you cannot imagine. It also show, goes to show that men, especially when they know what they have done with other women, they get so protective when they have a daughter. So this is a man that has how many baby mamas again? I can't, I can't remember, you know, but... I mean, this is a man that has a song. So why was, was are you time, why are you so protective? Are you trying to make sure your child does not become a baby mama or something? I don't know what his plan is. There was, even, there was this time he had he a song. He can actually I slow can't... down and not affect her self-esteem. And for her to keep on liking other people's posts on this, especially the ones that are condemning the acts, that it means that she feels some type of way about it. Although the way he narrated it, he made it seem like they are really cool with it. Like, mm. after I drop off the gift, and then she knows that the next thing is we're I going to a guide, you know, and and we go there, we have the conversation with the doctor, and you know, oh, she's intact, and that's fine. But have you sat her down to talk to her about the responsibilities that come with actually being sexually active? Mm. Because being sexually active is not, like I said, it's not just about the penetration. There are mm. so many ways to be active without getting that done, right? So have you spoken to her? Have you talked to her about her self-worth? Have you spoken to her about values? Is it just about knowing that the hymen is intact for you? So I think he needs to ask himself a lot of these questions and get it right. And um, on this, should. sorry, um, if I, I also feel like that means he's just trying to tell um, his daughter that your value is in your virginity, mm. basically. And that's, I think that's the narrative we're trying to change now in the world, that a woman's value is not in her body. You cannot judge a woman because she's not a virgin or she is a virgin. I think it needs to, maybe him himself does not really understand this and he's just probably trying to be a good dad, mm. but does not have like proper knowledge of how to um, handle it. It should probably see a counselor, yeah. All right, so, um, First off, when I saw this, I lost a lot of respect for T.I. Because I think this is barbaric. I think this is inhumane. And I think this is a violation of privacy. And I think um, this is not good parenting in any way. Like you said, they're all the form of intimacy. And this girl will be suffering just because she wants to um, impress you making sure my hymen is intact and then she's doing other stuff that would affect her later in the future. So I the really... other stuff are suffering. Eh? <laughs> no, 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 no. When I'm talking I'm about it's, 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 it's so okay. explicit I cannot say yeah. on television. Okay. But I'm telling you that there are other places ways, that yeah. she can always get things done mm -hmm. and you won't even know anything about it. And then she will be the one to suffer the repercussion at the end of the day. So I think TI should be checked. And um, like um, the World Health Organization already said that, that look, this is not right. Mm -hmm. So what is not right isn't right. So if TI is actually doing it, it needs to be spoken to. It needs to be sat down and reorientated mm -hmm. because at the end of the day, it has no sense as far as I'm concerned. 
you brought up the son and the double standards, whether a man is, there's no way to check a man. Do you understand? No, it's not even really about checking. Yeah. He does not have a any problem, problem with, with, with yeah. his son being sexually, sexually active. active at so 15. I think it's so very stupid for any father. It is better speak to your daughter. Let her make a decision at the end of the day. Now, I think some things are better learned with experience. Mm. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. By the time she's out there and she gets that broken once or twice, she'll realize that, okay, it's not cool for me to just give it up to anybody. So you're going to check her eye men and all that. And then this is a very influential daughter. I mean, she's, she's the daughter of a very influential person, meaning she's getting some money. She can be bribing the doctors. And say, I, I, okay, no, just, from that, what, what, and what, what came look, to my head was, then, no, if you on. find out that it's broken, what do you want to do? Hold on. Another thing is, <laughs> another thing, what do another you thing want is, to do? even if such results is like, give me my results, it's not your result. It is not your body. It is not your eye man. So do not try to get somebody else. It's like me going to say, uh, I'm taking you guys for, uh, let's go and do HIV test. And then I'm saying, no, give me their result. Mm. Do you understand? That's the same way it sounds. Because you know, from what he explained, they actually sit there together, together. and then mm. she has to sign something to give him mm. the right, and then she does that, and then they... Let, so, him, let him see. Yeah, and I think that is an um, invasion of a privacy. That's bullying and that is barbaric. So T.I. needs to be spoken to, called out, shamed, and if possible, stripped of all these awards for wow. this. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, no. Is that deep? No, no, no. Is that just being a quote? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's what I'm that's saying. Like, you can be, you can the, be intention, the, the intention the is right. Yeah. But the way he's going about the, it is wrong. The intention is He's just trying to protect right. his daughter. And he also reflects his sex education. Yeah, and my 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 problem is... Do more of sex education. Work on your own self-esteem. Work on your own past. If you think, okay, because of the things I've done in the past, so I don't want my daughters to fall in the hands of guys like me. I think that's one of the... Yeah, I think my point is... I don't, I don't like know. That. I don't know what he's even trying to like put in her because at the end of the day, if you have a daughter that a teenage daughter um, that you're telling don't do this, but you have a teenager son that you're telling it's okay, you can do whatever you want to do with another teenage daughter. Don't. How do you want your daughter to feel about that? And how do you I want mean, parents that means do you get other that means other feel. girls can do that. So that why don't you want me to do that? I think the best way is sit both um, girls and boys down and let them know that teach them values that you want them to have. Don't mm. pick a side. Okay, that's how we wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, as I always say, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Aosu TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always go to my co-anchors, Ewa Oluwa Oritu and Ife Oluwa Oshoke and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying thank you for watching and be beautiful.